good news today. In my last class, I already shown you, shown you exercise uh, 5.1 exponents and powers. Okay. Now, few question remain. So now, this is question number eight. So here it is. Express each of the following in powers of their prime factorization. So you know what are the prime numbers? If any numbers, the factors is only two, then this number is called prime number. So these things you already got in class 4, 5, 6, now even in the 7. So here are given one number, this one is 218. Now we will express this one in the prime factorization. First to convert this in the prime factor. Okay. Now see, if I write there are 288, then you divide this one by prime number. So prime 2 is the prime number, right? So first you divide it, this one is 2 1 ja 2, then this one will be 2 4 ja 8, and there is 2 4 ja 8. Again you divide this one by 2, now it is 7, and there is 2. Now again you can divide this one by 2, there will be 3 because 2 3 ja 6, and there is 7. Remain what? 1. Now it is 12. 2 how many times in 12? 2 times, right? Now, again you divide this one by 2, then there will be 18. And again, if you divide by 2, then it will be 9. Now see, they are this 9, you can't divide by 2. Now it is divide by 3. Why? Because this 9 is multiple of 3. Okay, now this is 3 to the 9. Now see, all the factors came in prime numbers, right? So I write this one here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. Prime numbers are there, right? That means 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And what 3, 2 is there, right? So 3 into 2. Three. So here express in the express into the following powers in their prime factors. Okay. Now see uh, this one. How many 2's are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here you write 2, 2, 2, 1, 5. And then how many 3's are there? 2, 3, so 3, 2, 2, 1, 2. That means this way. So this is the prime population here. Powers. Now power is in the prime form, right? Okay, now let's. This one you write. Now, this one you do by yourself. And now I'll show you this one. Okay. So now, now see question number C. So here same process. You have to first factorize this in the prime factorization method. Okay. Two four two zero zero. Okay. So first we divide by two. Then there will be twelve, and there is two how many times in two one times. Okay. Now again this one by divide by this six to jump. 12 and there is 1, 2 how many times in 1? 0 times. So first you write 0 and now it is 10. 2 how many times in 10? 5 times and there is 0. Okay? Because if you divide uh, this 0 by 2 then again you will get 0. Now again this one you divide by 2 then there will be 3. And 2 how many times in 0? 0 times. And 2 how many times in 5? 2 times remain what? 1. So now it is 10. 2 5 jump 10. Okay? Now see, first uh, you, up to this much, okay, to now this one is not divisible by 2 because the one space is not even number. Now we will check this one is uh, divisible by 3 or 1. First we will add the digits. 5 plus 2 or 7. 7 plus 3, it is 10. So 10 is not a multiple of this. So it is not divisible by this. So now next year one space one have 5. So yes, you can divide this one by 5. Now 5 common times in 30, 6 times. And then now 5 how many times into because 2 is less than 5, so it is 0 times. Okay? Now it is 25. So 5 how many times in 25? 5 times. So you write here 5 times 25. Now there is 6, 0, 5. Again, this one you divide by 5. 5 how many times in 6? 1 times 5, 1 times 5. Limit what? 1. Okay? Now it is 10. So 5 how many times in 10? 2 times. Okay? Now 5 how many times in 5? One time, okay. Now again, they are two plus one plus one. It is three. So this one directly you can divide by eleven because eleven eleven just one twenty one. Okay. Now, 
Similarly, you write write this for one, two, three. Two, three are there. Okay. And now, how many pipes? Two, five. And how many elements are there? Two elements. Okay. Then after that, you see how many. There is two or three. Then you write in exponent three. And then five. How many? Two elements. How many? So this way. You can write the prime factors. Express the following in powers in the prime factor factors. Okay. So let's B and B do by yourself. Okay. Now see question number nine. Here what it is? Express the following in ex exponential notation. Okay. So you know how to write the exponential notation. So here. Simple. Here, just see how many these are there. One, two, three, four, five. So first, to give one line and numerator. How many these? Five is in power and write five. And here, one, two, three, four, five. Same here also you write five to the power five. Now see one thing. You see there, denominators are different. Sorry, base are different and exponents are same. So you can write this one three by five whole bracket five. Okay, so same. This one also you see. How many three are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we write three to the power seven, and here also same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so here also five to the power seven. Now see their base is uh, there is minus three. There is five. So base are different. Then you can write this one is. Three by five whole bracket seven. Okay. So now number B. This one is similar like that. So how many five are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there is five to the power six, and there also nine. What you see? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So there also nine to the power six. And one thing I already discussed with you: if the power is even number. And they are here in base. Suppose one negative number is there, then this negative negative number will come positive. So, okay, if you not write they are not positive. Okay, this much. Only written in exponential notation you have to write. So this question number D, number do by yourself. Hope you understood this part. Now see question number ten. What it is? Express the following. Rational numbers. These are the rational numbers in exponential notation. Further express them in power of prime factors. So, one thing you see: exponential notation. If you uh, if you write in the power of prime factors, then also you can do one thing: you just factorize these numerators and denominators, whatever they are. Okay. So here, here are what are twenty-seven. First, we factorize this twenty-seven. In the prime factor, so if you divide this one by three, then there will be three nine ja twenty seven, and this one is three three ja nine. Okay, so this twenty seven you can write like that one two three. How many? Okay, in numerator what twenty seven in place of twenty seven one two three 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 is there, so then you write three two three three or you can say three two one three. Now what have they are denominator one thousand. Same we will express this one in the prime factors. Okay. So two how many times in ten? Five times and rest one give zeros. And they are if you divide then you get. Okay. Again if you divide then two how many times in twenty five two one and there this will be one twenty five. Okay. Again this one in the prime factors there will be. 25 and then 5 5 into 25. Okay. So now you see we are two how many? One, two, three. Okay. Then you write two Q and then from five how many? Three. So we are written uh, exponential notation. This one also exponential notation and you power of the prime factors. This is they are of the prime numbers. No, this two and five and three. The power is here. Okay, same. This one. Now see question number B. Here 512 given and 
729. So first we convert this 512 into prime factorization form. So first, okay. So write two. So two how many times in five? Two times, okay. And here remain what one element. Two how many times in element? Five times. Then remain what one. Now this twelve. Two how many times in twelve? Six times. Now if you divide this one by two again, two how many times in two? One time. Two how many times in five? Two times remain what one. Now this sixteen. Two is the sixteen. Now this divide again. You divide this one by two. Then you will get six. And here will be what four. Again if you divide this one by two, then here you will get 32 and again if you divide by 2 then here you will get 16 again if you divide by 2 then here you will get 8 again this one divide by 2 then you will get 4 and again if you divide by 2 then you will get 2 ok now same 70, 729 also you divide it by so first you see this one divisible by 2 so not that because uh, the first place not having even number. So now say this one is divisible by two or one. How will first you add this digit? Nine plus two what? Nine plus two is eleven. Eleven plus seven is eighteen. So eighteen is a multiple of three. So you can divide this one by three. So three how many times in seven? Two times. Okay. Three to ja six. Remaining what? One now it is twelve. Three four ja twelve. And three how many times in nine? In times, three times are nine. Now again, this one is divisible by three or one four plus three seven seven plus two nine. So it is also again divisible by three. So three how many times in twenty four eight times and three how many times in three one time. Okay. Now again, this one you divide by three, then you will get here twenty seven. Okay. Now again, if you divide by three, then you will get here nine. Okay. Now this is nine. So here you see. In numerator 5 square is there. So how many two are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you have to write 2, 3, 4, 9. And here you see 7, 29. How many three are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you have to write 2, 3, 4, 6. So this way you can do this exponential notation or powers of prime factors. Okay. So rest question you do by yourself. Number C. And D. Okay. So write down from there.